Hi everyone, this is Arun Reddy here. Welcome to my YouTube channel Arun Reddy Tech for you. In this video, we are going to discuss about the normalization topic called normalization. Okay, so before going to the topic, if you are new to my video and if you want to learn DBMS, you can go through my channel playlist. In channel playlist, you can find a folder called DBMS. If you want in English, you can go to the folder DBMS and if you want videos in Telugu, you can go to the DBMS in Telugu folder where remaining videos are available. And if you don't want to miss my video, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like and share my videos. Coming to our topic normalization. So let us understand first normalization, then we will go for a normal forms. Okay, so different types of normal forms. So first let us understand the normalization. Normalization is a systematic approach to decompose tables. Okay, to eliminate data redundancy. What you are saying decompose tables, we can also say relations. Okay. So what they are doing, they are dividing a tables, decomposing a tables means dividing a tables so that data redundancy will not occur. Data redundancy means repetition. So duplicate data will not occur. Okay. So and undesirable characteristics like insertion, updation and delete anomalies in DBMS. So whenever we have a repetition of data, then we have a problems like insertion, updation and delete, uh, delete anomalies. Okay. So let us, uh, let us go. Uh, with examples so we can understand easily what is this normalization and what are these anomalies okay so first let us start with our, uh, to understand better let us start with an example for example i have a table c student table so in the student table uh, student id student name branch number is okay but what happens after branch number there is a branch name and principal name which are repeating again and again for example there are only two branches let us assume only two branches so every time we are going to enter uh, 101 for example 101 102 two branches we have 101 koti and the principal name is mr krishna 102 ecl and uh, the principal name is shiva right so now every time we have to enter c every whoever student uh, details we are entering uh, we are going to enter the branch name number branch name and principal so now this is a repetition of data right okay so what happens this repetition of data what happens see all this orange color you have shown you will is a repetition of that so repetition of data leads to increase of size and maintenance see so unnecessarily we are repeating the data so the repetition data what it will leads to it leads to size increasing size and maintenance right now to what now what we can uh, what happens if data size increase and maintenance it leads to anomalies what kind of anomaly insertion update and deletion anomaly so now after this insertion updation and deletion anomaly you will understand what is normalization okay just uh, let me finish the insertion updation and deletion anomaly then you will understand what is normalization and why we should use normalization okay so what is insertion and anomaly means see whenever you are entering a student details for example you are entering 100 student details suppose 100 students are joined in koti branch so 100 times i have into i should enter 101 koti and mr krishna this is called insertion anomaly this situation is called as insertion anomaly right suppose updation uh, for example if i want to update a principal name koti uh, principal name changed from krishna to mahender now if i want to change every time wherever the i mentioned the uh, mr krishna should be updated so if i miss any one also it will lead to an inconsistency see what if mr krishna leaves the college or mr krishna is no longer principal of the branch in that case all the student record will have to be updated and if by mistake we miss any record it will lead to data inconsistency right oh right so deletion anomaly for example i have deleted two student details ravi and suresh okay so when i delete these student details automatically the branch details also gone see now i don't know uh, what is a, another branch number branch name and who is the principal of branch because i don't have a details once uh, what happens student details with the student details we are, we are also deleting the branch details see this occurs when deleting one part of data deleted the other necessary information from the database now to overcome these anomalies we have a normalization now what normalization will do let me show you for example this is a table normalization right now i will divide this table into two parts so now what happens suppose whenever uh, when i insert as we said ins insertion anomaly when i insert i doesn't need to insert 101 koti krishna i just write the 101 that's it 
so every time i will not going to insert all these details now no insertion anomaly updation anomaly ah so suppose any branch principal change i will just update here automatically remaining will be updated right so once i update in one place automatically it will update all the now uh, we uh, uh, updation anomaly also cleared next one deletion anomaly ah now if i delete whole table also i will have my branch details okay branch number branch name and principal so i doesn't need to worry about the uh, branch table right so deletion of student one uh, one details will not affect the other so deletion anomaly also we have solved so normalization will solve the problems of insertion deletion and updation anomalies nice right okay so normalization what is normalization normalization is a process of decomposing relation decomposing table to avoid the data redundancy right okay right now let us see what are the types of dbms normal forms okay so there are six normal forms okay i forgot to mention here sixth one okay so sixth one is a fifth normal form okay so but i will when i when i am explaining i will explain you here i have missed the the sixth normal form okay right so let us go one by one first first normal form okay so what is the rule for the first normal form is first normal form value stored in a column should be of same domain for example if i entered employee id as a number i cannot enter a uh, text now see i have said employee id is a number employee name is a var char or num uh, character now i cannot enter uh, what you'll say characters now here a table is in the uh, first normal form because it has a uh, same domain whatever the domain it is it they have a same data it also see all columns in a table should have unique names see employee id employee no repetition okay so there is no repeat of uh, same names okay so the column name should be unique indirectly what we are saying column name should be unique the column should name should not be repeated okay then second rule also pass then third rule it should have single value attributes so the column should have only one single value attribute but what about here here ramu ravi suresh okay phone numbers okay employed okay but skills you have two see not single value but two python javascript here you have three html css javascript now to solve this what i can do means i can decompose i can uh, convert the table into first normal form phi by c now i have extended my table with more rows so i have python separately i have written java separately i have written so the thing repeated are one ramu phone number are repeated twice so there are three again i have repeated twice c ravi phone number ravi phone number two ravi phone number again three suresh c suresh contains only one so i didn't, didn't uh, extended it right so now this table is not normal form but this table is normal first normal form so what are again what are the three rules first thing is domain right so whatever the domain for example employee mobile number i have given number so i cannot enter the text right so same unique number uh, unique name should be there see every column is unique name third it should contains only single value see now everyone contains single value so now it is first normal form right then what is the second normal form ah uh, first it should be first normal form second normal form first it should be second normal form and it should not have partial dependency now what is this partial dependency so what we'll do first we'll learn about partial dependency then again we'll come back to the second normal form okay. so what is partial dependency when table has primary key of course every table has a primary key that is made up of two or more columns of course so our, what you are saying our primary key is two or more columns right then all the column in the table should depend on entire primary key so what you are saying if we have a primary key with a combination of two or more columns all the remaining columns should depend on primary key if any column depends on part of primary key then we will say it as par uh, partial dependency so what we are saying i will show you the example see now uh, marks is depending on student id now what is the primary key student id subject id combination of student id subject id is primary key so marks is depending on uh, what you are saying student id and subject id but subject name and teacher name are depending on subject id see based on the subject id and subject we teacher name and subject names are dependent now subject id is not a primary key remember it is a part of primary key common student id subject id both together as a prim primary key. now now this non 
non uh, what you will say non key attributes are depending on partial key attribute suppose if these both are depending on subject id and student id no issue because they are depending fully but here we are depending only partially now what we can do we have to decompose the table we have to divide the table so how we are going to divide see what happens i have divided subject id subject name lecture name okay student id student uh, subject name marks now what happens sub based on the subject id subject name teacher is dependent or subject id uh, based on subject id subject name and teacher are dependent based on student id and subject id marks are dependent now non these both non key attributes are depending on key attribute this marks non key attribute is depending on key attribute now this is not partial dependency but it is a fully functional dependency right so now what i have done i have divided a table into two parts to make it fully functional dependency now let us go back to second normal form so what it is asking it should be first normal form it should not have partial dependency so same table i will take so you will not get confused so what happens here partial dependency exists right okay because uh, non key attribute depending on partial dependent key okay not fully dependent key uh, fully primary key partial primary key so now what i will do we will convert the tables into two okay so convert to a table into two and uh, now it is fully functional dependency right so removing partial dependency is called as second normal form okay now what is third normal form then again it should be third normal form when first normal form and second normal that means it should be second normal form once we said second normal form automatically it will be first normal form right uh, and it does not have transitive dependency what do you mean by transitive dependency means c a depending on b b, de b depending on c then it is called transitive dependency right or non key attribute depending on non key attributes it is also called transitive dependency so let me show you example oh, what is transitive dependency see if a table we have some columns that are primary key and other column depend on column okay so primary key and non uh, non primary key but if a column that has uh, that is not a primary key depending on another column that is not a primary key see non key attribute depending on non key attribute then we have transitive dependency see what is happening here uh, marks exam type is depending on student id and su subject id but total marks is depending on exam type for example theory example theory exam 100 marks practical 50 now total marks is depending on exam type non key attribute is depending on another non key attribute as i said a depending on b b depending on c a depending on b b depending on c so this type of dependency is called transitive dependence now what again we can do we can divide the table now dividing table c marks exams are depending on student id and subject name total marks are depending on exam type right so like this we can divide okay so again let us come back to the third normal form same example i am taking so it should not have transitive dependency what should i do i should divide the table into two parts so the transitive uh, transitive dependency will be removed okay so sorry actually it's a third normal form converting to the third normal form right okay boys code normal form yes what is boys code normal form it is little bit difficult comparing to the uh, second normal form and third normal form let us understand it is uh, uh, in let us understand it okay so what is boys code normal form is higher version of normal form it is nothing but a higher version of normal form okay higher uh, higher version of third normal form means advanced level okay so comparing to third normal form it is little bit advanced okay so uh, this normal uh, this form with a certain type of anomalies that is not handled by 3nf see this anomalies will not be handled by the 3nf it seems okay so the 3nf table that does not have multi -val multiple overlapping candidate key is said to be bcnf so what is what is saying it should be table should be 3nf and it should not have multi -val multi overlapping candidate key okay so um, let me explain you a little bit in depth so you can understand easily first of all uh, last time we have seen that 2nf 3nf bcnf right okay so in 2nf what happens non key attribute depending on partial key right that is not totally on primary key but part of uh, primary key. here what happens non key attribute depending on non key attribute is transfer dependence right but when it comes to uh, BCNF, non -key, key attribute, reversely, key attribute is depending on non key attribute. This situation is called as, uh, what you'll say, uh, BCNF. Okay, so now in this B BCNF, what happens? Key attribute will be depending on non key attribute. Okay, so to remove this, okay, so to remove this, 
okay so we will again decompose the table so let me go to the again uh, voice code normal form so what is happening see teacher name depending on student id and subject but subject see one, one teacher is explaining one subject let us assume okay now subject is depending on teacher name student id subject is depending on teacher name now subject is all uh, sorry teacher name is depending on uh, student id and subject but subject is also depending on teacher name see uh, you know that uh, subject is a part of key now key attribute is depending on non key attribute right so see, such situation what you will do we will again decompose the table but we cannot take teacher name as a uh, what is primary key because they may not be unique so that's why what i have done i have taken a teacher id right sometimes the same name people will be there so what happens now teacher id based on teacher id teacher name and subject name depends right same way here what i have done sub student id teacher id i have included teacher id so uh, based on student id we will have a teacher id based on teacher id teacher name and subject name so like this we have divided the table and we have uh, got the bcnf we have converted into the bcnf uh, next fourth normal form right so fourth normal form what do you mean it should be bcnf first of all it should be a bcnf and it does not have multi value dependency sir it does not have multi it should not have multi value depend for example this is a table here so table contains computer max dancing singing com chemistry biology dancing singing now it contains multi value attributes right so again this multi value attributes if i divided into single okay so because i want to uh, do it as in the first normal form now it has increased to how many eight columns four into four because it is it is multiplying this fours are multiplying with this four right so unless un unnecessarily what happened it has increased right so now if you divide the table into two parts see because course is depending on student id hobby is depending on student id hobby and course are nowhere related now what happened i have divided the table into two parts now it has converted into four columns see sorry four rows okay instead of eight it has done, done within a four rows okay so this is called as fourth normal form removing multi value dependency so multi value dependency has will be removed right next fifth normal form we will also say as pa pgnf okay project join normal form okay so what this is it is advanced one so further if you have any anomalies it will be removed okay so it will mainly concentrate on join dependency okay it reduce the join dependency so for example see uh, there is a, 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 a semester 1 semester 1 twice right so computer computer uh, student or uh, sorry lecture okay john john twice okay so now here what is happening lecture depending on subject semester depending on lecture and uh, subject is depending on semester so this kind of join dependency will be removed and uh, now this table is divided into three types semester subject subject lecture and subject uh, semester lecture so this is last stage where we uh, it's uh, advanced level we'll say advanced level where we'll remove further any anomalies exist okay so removing joint dependency is called as fifth normal form so once again we'll repeat uh, one by one so we'll understand easily so first let us start with the one uh, one nf one nf is nothing but a single value attribute okay so it should have single value attribute before that it should have unique columns and uh, it should maintain the domain perfectly okay right second 2nf remote partial dependency that means pa uh, partial primary key dependency will be removed okay transitive dependence means non key attribute depending on key at uh, non key attribute will be removed bcnf a uh, non key attribute depending on key at sorry key attribute depending on non key attribute will be removed right 4nf a uh, multi value dependency will be removed and 5nf joint dependency will be removed okay so these are the different types of normal forms six different types of normal forms so students i hope you have liked the video i have understood the video and if you understood the video please like the video and share the video and support me thank you